Hey guys, now that football season is over, we actually can go on Sunday trips. Woohoo! Getting out and about. The weather is horrible today, but I wanted to leave the house and Mauricio decided that he would. <laughs> Melina's so goofy. Mal uh, that Mauricio would play along. So we are headed to Washington, D.C. today for some fun in the rain. So since I am a normal multitasking mom, I am also filming a collab with Emily plus three and Megan over at Thrift Kid. And they have invited me to talk about generosity and giving in children. Teaching generosity and giving to children is a super important topic for Mauricio and I. We are both very, very generous people and we think it is a super important thing to teach your children. It's actually, for us, it's right up there with morality and honesty. Very, very busy street at the left is the Department of State. That's the. Well, not that, that one over there. That's the Department of State. The, uh, that is the United States Institute of Peace. We have an Institute of Peace? Mm -hmm. My husband, the tour guide. Is it important that Melina grow up to be generous? Yes, but, uh, yes, but not stupid. Be generous when she has the ability to be generous, not like us. That, that We're are, generous and dumb. <laughs> yeah, and a bunch of that. You, you're generous because yes, you you don't have to be rich in order to be generous. You, just, you know, be normal folk. You know, with normal income and be generous. But uh, but uh, you gotta take care of yourself first. I think so. That uh, the, all your bills are covered. That uh, take care of you first, and then. And then or make sure you get it. It's very important. I see it from that perspective. If I see it from a biblical perspective, and I grew up in a very conservative church, and then um, um, I believe in I believe in tithing, and then that kind of stuff. So, but I definitely, if you want to be generous, make sure you have the ability to be generous. Don't be generous out of the stuff you have. This is the Washington Monument. That thing. Right over there. See that? That's the you are here thing. We are headed over here. When they designed Washington, they designed it to have all of the monuments Nelly, be across. Nelly. So you have the Capitol on one end, the Lincoln Memorial, the Jefferson Memorial, the Washington Monument, and the White House. They all form across. Cool, huh? <laughs> out by having her donate to people she knows so specifically some of Mauricio's cousins and nieces and nephews in Colombia by doing that it allows Melina to understand what it means to give and she has been excellent about it sometimes at five she does struggle a little bit with the concept of giving away some of her stuff but she is starting to really understand how helping other people is a huge asset Lincoln free the flag. No building in Washington, D.C. is allowed to be taller than the Washington Monument. Oh, we are, 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 we are,
Continents are there, honey? <laughs> In Colombia, they teach them that there are only five continents. And you can see the capital. <laughs> this monument honors all the people in other countries that defended the United States. ourselves first. So our generosity and the amount of money and things that we're donating right now is significantly less than it normally would be because for us family financial responsibility is also one of those things that we need to teach Melina. Oh. Where do we park? Over here? Yeah. Okay, we are actually right here, it looks like, yeah. right here. We're right here. You think we can pay off all our debt? So we're heading home. I'll see you in the next one. See, see ya! ya. make sure you click on the big laughing face to subscribe to my channel and I'm putting two videos that you can click on to keep on watching next to me so go ahead and keep on watching and I'll see you in the next one see ya